I'm Roman and this is all about happy painting. This video finds the answer to the most important question. Why does entering a miniature show feels like dancing naked on a table? I just returned from what many consider the best miniature painting event in the world, Monte San Savino show in Italy. I'm going there almost regularly for 10 years now and it's a lovely place of friendship, miniature passion and great food. You know how important mental health is for me when it comes to miniature painting and I had the feeling I stumbled over the right topic with some observations I have made on this weekend. Let's get a better understanding for our emotions while going to such events. Welcome to the high and lows of miniature painting shows. This will not be a straight review on this beautiful show. I rather would call it a try to sum up emotional observations that I've made on the weekend with my own experiences of the past and today. My observations might speak to you or not. It is completely individual. This is just my perspective. In the meantime, I feel like a middle-aged gorilla silverback when going to shows. I have won my share of medals, awards and shoulder pads and I'm grateful for all I was able to experience so far. This year in Monty, I was not included with the responsibility of a judge and had the chance to look at the competition from a different point of view as I was entering out of competition, to just exhibit instead of competing. The reasons and conclusions for this might be, might be worth a complete video on its own, but to take it to the point, I was able to find time to speak to many painters of all sorts of levels, first-timers, long-term participant, participants and all dinosaurs. I was also able to observe many impressions and they are overwhelming. I decided to make this video about my experience. To put things in order, I will separate this video in before the show, at the show and after the show. If you enjoy the videos I create, I invite you to press a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can help this channel to grow. Thank you very much. Before the show. Preparing your entries for a show is always motivating and with a little pressure on your mind. You want to create the best you can do to present it to others. You want to show your work to, to the community, see what medal you can win with your skill and passion you put into your pieces and your aim is to impress the judges. All these reasons are there and got different weights with every individual. It is a lot of you that you bring to such a show. A lot of your time, heart and passion put into something very small with a lot of your time spent on it. There is the before the show and the very close before the show. When the day finally comes and you pack everything up to head to the show, you might think you could have done more. You are insecure if it was enough. Or you are just happy to take everything and put it there, but somehow a little bit of excitement kicks in. Absolutely normal. Somehow all our pieces are personal. To be honest and fair, in our beloved miniature world, many of us are introverts and the passionate preparation of a project is something we enjoy a lot. Usually we do this on our own or with a small number of friends while meeting off or online. Putting it in front of many others in real life, not speaking about social media or the internet, is a bit like dancing naked on the table in front of others. You lay your work, your passion, your love, your emotions, your idea, your inner self, your skill, your journey, very open. It's like dancing naked on the table. Usually introverts are not good in that. From my very own experience and my observations, these emotions are piling up the closer the date of the event gets. It feels like climbing a hill and my journey to Monte over the Alps with my friends Johannes and Scott felt a bit like that climb. When you arrive at the venue, it still feels unreal. After meeting the first people and placing your miniatures in the show, it feels like you finally arrived on top of that hill and the realisa realization kicks in that you and your projects are now there. No turning back. No chance to work on final touch-ups. Let's see what happens. Some might even paint until the last moment before the official delivery ends to create the best they can deliver. We are all different and strive for different ambitions. In Monty, this is also the moment where the organizers succeed in welcoming everyone perfectly with a wonderful gathering ceremony. All that anxiety gets washed away. At 
the show. It is just great. With all the weight off your shoulders, it is time to enjoy, talk, chat, discuss, miniature art and bathe in the passion that fills the air. Sometimes it is hard to take all in, as everything is so intense. The chats, the feedback, the noise, the visuals. You might need a break from it occasionally and then jump back into it. Occasionally I bet you might find yourself in not only celebrating the beauty of, your, of all of it, but also checking back with all the entries in your category and comparing them to yours and your subjective view on what, thi what you think is good or not. You will without a doubt start comparing. Normal. You start to understand that you have done your best for this moment. You might hear that the judges are going to work soon and you trust that their perspective is objective. Anxiety and self-doubt can kick in. Am I good enough? Would I mind if I do not place? Strong pieces by others might discourage you. These emotions are all normal and, in the end, you will believe your guts telling you that you did your best. Being there at the show is what matters. I had the feeling this always takes over. People, passion and intense exchange wherever possible. Exhausting but totally worth it. Just amazing. Washing away self-doubt, more or less. We're all different. Anxiety and excitement are rising to a new peak. Tell me about your experiences with this topic in the comments. If you're interested in more, more topics about miniature painting and mental health, you can check back with Painting Miniatures with Dark Emotions, Dealing with Tragedy through Miniature Painting, The Healing Power of Green Dioramas, and Your Ego, the Biggest Enemy as a Miniature Painter. You can find the full playlist linked up below. Jingling. Advertisement. Howdy ho. If you enjoy the videos I create and want to help me to create more, you can support me via my Patreon or by learning from my ebooks. Find both links below. Thank you very much. Arrivederci. After the show. Knowing that the judges did their work and results are in is a mix of emotions. It can be hard to wait for the award ceremony. In Monty, it is half a day of anxiety and excitement. Feels like being in school and getting an important test back, eager to know what grade you got, but some are more intense as it is about your miniature passion. Some shows, for example, the scale model challenge add winner stickers and recommended information before the ceremony to make people aware of the results a little earlier. When the award ceremony was held, you know it. You know if your work was worth the medal in the judges' eyes. This can be devastating, as you might not have placed. Even more devastating if you placed the year before and wanted to put up to, to up your game. It can be just a bit saddening, as it would have been great to share the stage with your friends. It can be uplifting, because you won and never experienced it. It can be uplifting, because you have won and stepped up your game. You can be surprised, as you would ha not have not guessed how you placed. It can be very uplifting, as you are so happy for all your friends who won. Self-confidence can receive a massive boost or can take a punch in the stomach. It is all there, in all of us. Somehow we all share the same emotions in all the wide variety of situations we might encounter. From my personal view, I see a pure magical beauty in first-timers winning something. The shine in their eyes, the pure joy in everyone on stage and the applause to all that was achieved is such a peak of positive energy. But remember, to have some people on stage and celebrating, other people are not up there and might encounter different emotions. You can see people go wild and full of love when they receive their medal or special award. And you can encounter aged dinosaurs who feel a little sadness because they only won a best of something medal instead the best of show. It is all full of variety. Going back home from such a trip is always interesting. We climbed the mountain to stand on the peak of it, danced naked on the table somehow, got judged for it and received results. Now it is time to roll back. Exhausted in a positive way, do emotional overkill, your thoughts can be foggy and in clouds. You might need to sort all these great talks, energy exchanges, wide competition emotions and maybe also still got a hangover from drinking too much. Another interesting observation I have made for myself is that it always takes a little bit of adjusting to your own creative workspace again. 
Everything was so amazing in such a show. That being home feels a bit simple, yet maybe a bit boring in the beginning. Take your time if you feel that. It is the fog. Often the fog disappears quickly and you feel very energized to continue with all the new inspiration. Nothing wrong with being exhausted. My conclusion. I for my part conclude that it is the people that matter in the end on such events. They fill my heart with passion, medals and striving for it can also play a big part and it is important to learn about the emotional ups and downs that you might encounter. This is why I have done this video. Understand, all these emotions are okay. It is okay to feel them, highs and lows, ups and downs. This is you. If it helps, talk with friends about it even about this video. Tell me in the comments what you feel about what I shared here. Thank you for watching till the end. Roman out. Keep on happy painting. Bye bye. Gratitude to all my patrons who supported me during November 2023. Thank you very much. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up.